Hello guys, welcome. I'm from UK. This is Fights in Tight Spaces. We're going to have a go at level 2. Agent 11. Sir. We have a number of emerging situations that could do with your skills. Let's go aggressive today. The Insiders. While originally a loosely connected set of gangs, the range of activities and the scope of relationships within the prison system is too great not to constitute a single powerful entity. With members seeking specific sentences in specific territories just to convey orders from the group's powerful kingpins. Let's do it. We need you to go undercover in a high security prison. I'm afraid orange is my colour, sir. Don't worry, we're sending you in as a lawyer. What you do after that is up to you. We need you to get inside and break down their lines of communication. All right, let's do this. Got 40 health and $50. We have a shiv dude. You cannot block against a shiv. And these guys increase in strength for every turn that they're alive. We got three moves. One step. Yeah, okay, we're going to hook kick. I think these guys are the biggest problem. Stepping back is Tad, and we'll take a step. Actually, let's go. Let's go against the wall. Ooh, so I can slip to the side, which is good because we got absolutely nothing else going on there. Look at that—we can't do any damage whatsoever. Terrible cards that time. Okay, we've got another slip. We've got a wall jump punch. So that could take him out. 12 and 26. Nine and 26. Just one left on him there. Seems like such a waste, but we might as well use it, I suppose. New shift guy. That was a bit silly. He's got a health of four. Let's take on the shiv, dude. Only one move left, so he needs to get out of the way. That's the way to finish. I might actually watch a replay on that one. That was quite fun for a first fight. Nice. Very good. So what are we going to take here? The dash is rubbish. The slip is super, super useful. Let's go prison van. Gives us more options for our next move. Right, now the yellow guys are informants. So they're, they're still going to attack us, but we don't actually want to heal them. They're going to attack us so that their cover isn't blown. We'll start with the wall jump punch. That's him done. And we'll step 
Will we step? Yeah, we'll step. And we'll hold that. We'll hold that position. Alrighty. 26 left. Eighteen left. Not quite sure why I did that. That was really stupid move. I'm now going to take eleven damage for absolutely no good reason whatsoever. Oh no, I got so lucky there. All right. Nearly screwed that up big time. So. We can slip into the gap. It's got nine health. Can't quite finish him off on this turn. bit of a situation here. I need to slip real bad. <sighs> I'm going to lose here. He does 13 damage. Damn this. I took so much damage in that round for no good reason whatsoever. Okay. Let's slip. So I'm out of danger. That's a quick strike. Let's find 40 kick this guy in the head. And that's it done. We protected the informant, took loads of damage. Hammer fist doesn't do much damage. We're gonna go for ponder. Uh, let's go clinic, because it gives us more options again. Hate this table. You end up chasing around the table. There's a briefcase there, I've got no chance of getting to it. No chance of getting to it at all. It's got 28 protection. I'm going to have to steal myself. I'm going to have to do the kick, which is 16. Again, taking damage. He's got 12 left. Making bad choices right there. going to make me move forward. I'm going to try and get to the briefcase. Not looking good.
So we go for the block. Loosen him up a bit. Oh, nearly didn't do it. Damn, it's gone. Ah, so hard to get the briefcase. It really is. Got six health left. Oh, no. If I step into him, though, I'm going to get hit. We can take that hit. Quick strike him down. Jobs are good. And go for the free jab. Now we go for the slip. Give him a front kick. Finish him off with a hook kick. Oh, I still got five health. Uh, jumping back kick. Good night. Didn't do well. Did not do well. Focus, throat punch, or taunt. Ooh. I'm going to go for the throat punch. Because stopping people from attacking you is always good. You check into your hotel, but when you get there, your room, something seems off. Sweet for bugs. Lose currency. You spend several hours taking everything apart. Eventually, you find the bug and destroy it. Lose $50. What's the benefit of that? So now I can't get any... Now I can't heal. Damn. All right, we've got 24 health going into the last second section, as it were. This has been probably one of my worst playthrough attempts. Right, he's going to get shot. Just want to be able to slip into the side here. Throat punch you. So now you can't attack me. Front kick this guy. Let's spin kick this guy. Uh, can we hook kick and left spin kick? He's only got eight, eight health left anyway. He's dead. Lovely stuff. Right, so we can do a jumping back kick into this guy. That's pretty nice. If I hit him now, though, he's going to attack me, so... Oh, this is not good. Where's he standing? So I'm safe where I am. I'm not going to get shot. Okay. So let's steal myself. And then see if I can take him out. Massive damage done to him there. He's down to 15 health. 15 health. I could pull him towards me. And then do a 540 on him, and that's him gone. Which is quite nice. Also step up. It's better, be, better to be in the middle of the room, I feel. Right. So let's slip into the gap. Quick strike this guy. Jab him. He's down to 17. Or ponder. And I get an extra kick on him. And he's going to get shot by his mate as well. No, he won't get shot by his mate, unfortunately. Okay, he will get shot by his mate. Perfect. That went very well. Okay, so we'll just slip to the side. Job done. He's only got six health, so... Uh So I'm going to have to take him down. Step up. Nothing else I can do. 
Hmm. But he's only got three health. So if I front kick him, all I gotta do is attack him. He's done. We'll dash. And we'll go from there. It's so annoying. Can't do anything. Right, what's he got? He's got 28 health. If we step up to him. Steal myself and throat punch him. Will it work? No, you blocked it. Sugar. Right, that's 18 damage right there, though. Nice. So we've got a right spin kick, a heavy strike, or a hook kick. I'm going to go heavy strike. Is your It's your annual review. Do you deserve a pay rise? Yes, of course I do. Excellent. Gain $100. That was very handy. Sell or clinic? Let's go sell. I hate the clinic. I hate chasing around that table. Right. <clears throat> I'm in a very difficult position here. A very difficult position here. I'm going to get hit no matter what I do. <clears throat> um, all right, let's step out of the way. Go back into the gap. Steal myself and give him a hook kick. Oh, I can't. This is not a good position to be in. Heavy strike of 28. He's got 35 damage. Oh, we've got an informant as well. I didn't realise that until just literally that second. How much damage does he do? He does eight damage. I don't want to take eight damage. But we've got enough here to take him down. Look, 28. And a quick strike of 16. Ah, I want to not take any damage. That's the only problem here. Why hit him there? Do I step back? No, it makes me move as well. Let's ponder. Just see if we get any better cards for our current situation. So I've got a, a pull, but he'll hit me if I use that. So I could do the block, then use the pull. Oh, I haven't got enough to hit him afterwards. So I took two damage. That wasn't too bad. And he's down to seven. Okay. Oh, no, I took double damage, of course. Idiot. Right, we're going to slip into the gap. We're going to front kick him. But he can't attack us now. We're going to jab you, and then we're going to 540 kick you. And then we're going to slip. Uh, I don't know how much damage he does. That's interesting. 6 damage. Uh, 
Oh man, the positioning is just crappy. The cards are not helping me. We are not getting good luck here. Let's ponder. Good. We're going to get hit. Why quick block and slip there? Does he hit me once or three times? If he hits me three times, I'm dead. Oh, he didn't hit me at all. Yes, I've got, got to slip. Ah, oh, thank goodness for that. Oh, but he turned to face me. That's me, game over. I got lucky. I've got two health left. Uh, he's got 45 health. Does he always turn to face me? He always turned to face the player. Okay. Yes, darling. Why don't you ask Mummy? Mummy's down there. Why don't you ask Mummy? Why don't you ask Mummy? Okay. We can dash, we can steal, and then we can wall jump punch, and he should be down. Okay, good stuff. Let's go with the ponder again. We can see how useful it can be, potentially. Not always, obviously. Oh, stay there. Knew he wouldn't. <sighs> what do we got? Down to six health. Could do a spinning kick. Will he always turn? No, he won't turn. But he will attack me no matter where I hit him. And he'll attack me if I move there. Okay. So. How much damage does he do? Does eight damage. So let's go with the quick block because that's free. We'll heavy strike this guy. That brings him down to eight health. I can now front kick him. So I've got space. Now I can ponder. Yeah, I don't have I don't have anything that I can use to attack him with, so 
Okay. So surprise attack will do 15 damage. He's got 51. Look at that. We'll throat punch this guy. He's now pretty much stuffed. Uh, I've only got one move left. Oh, I could have jabbed him. Damn it. He's got 21 health left. If I slip to his side and front kick him, he can't attack me. Then I can heavy strike him. But I'm going to get hit because he's got 15 health and that only does 14 damage. On well, the 540 kick, does 22 damage. Ah, oh, idiot. Look at that. I did. I wasn't sure if he'd be able to hit me or not. Because it was a moving card. But he did. He did extra damage to this guy. So that's kind of good. Jumping back kick. You're done. We can dash up to here. Do a hook kick. Ponder. Yeah, nothing much going on there. He's only got five health. Let's just finish him off. Good job. Slip. Broad shoulders. Increased push collision damage by four. Virtuous circle. If combo is over five, gain six combo. Hmm. I'm going to go with the slip. I think it's more useful. Okay. Game on. Briefcase. There. Nope. But we have an informant. Or is he a VIP? Oh man, this is going to be impossible. Right, he's got his gun on, so he's going to shoot him, which is great. How much damage has he got? Health, rather. 22 and 32. So if I heavy hit him... Slip for free. I love that. Throat punch. But he can't hurt me in the next go. So now I can quick strike him. Brings him down to 43. Okay. Got some problems here. We are going to take damage of eight. We've only got nine health. Well, unless I slip. Because he doesn't always turn to face me. Right, we'll front kick him. Copper should shoot this guy. I can jab him for free, but I think I'll get hit as a result. Oh no, VIP's going to get hit. I need to spin into the gap. I'll hit him into him. That's no good. Got 14 health. Does 15 damage. I cannot get hit by him.
This is risky. So I can left spin kick the guy. That'll bring his health down. This guy's going to still get shot. Or I can surprise attack, which puts my block up to 10, which means he'll only do 5 damage, which gives, leaves me with just 4 health. But the surprise attack return should kill him, so we have to gamble. That's not what we wanted. Okay, well, he's not going to get shot, which is handy. So I got a, a free slip. Steal myself. Front kick this guy. Down to 19 health. have another ponder might as well we've got a jumping back kick but unfortunately I can't get close enough to him to use it okay end turn Wall jump punch will do 22 damage. That should finish him off. Then I can slip. Dash. Left spin kick and get him out of the way because my kicks to him don't damage him. There we go. Head on with the gunman. So we can do a heavy punch. Throat punch. Free jab. We can slip to the side, we can ponder, and unfortunately we have no attacking moves available to us. He's got 15 health, can we pull him? No, we can't pull him. That will do. What does Break the Limit do? Attack for 12 damage. Add a slow bleed card to your deck. Wow. So I can damage myself, but do 12 damage in return. Panic Dash. The ability to run and escape. You find yourself locked up in a foreign jail. Bribe the guards to lose currency or fight your way out. Let's fight our way out. I need that money. When we get to medical, we're in a good position here, actually, guys. We've got good money and uh, good, good opportunities. We've got three shivs. Give me a 540. Give me a 540. You didn't. Right, so we can slip, we can throat punch. Oh, that was stupid. That was so stupid. So stupid. How much damage does he do? Six. I needn't have taken a single hit of damage there. I totally screwed that up. Right, we've got a 540. We have a wall jump. We have a front kick. Jumping back kick. Got a panic dash. We've got two guys coming in here, look. We 
Okay, he's got 28 health. He's got 26. Goodness me. So I need to slip so that he doesn't attack me. Left spin kick this guy. He'll get shivved by him. Quick strike this guy. We'll go for the ponder. Yeah. Huh? Okay, thank you, darling. Heavy strike. Down to four. Ponder. Left spin kick. Oh, no, I don't want to use that. Nope, don't want to use that. Wow, how is he still alive? Very lucky. Okay, we can 540 kick here. And we need to... Front kick. Oh, could I have kicked him out of the room? I could have kicked him out of the room. Ah, oh, you idiot. Making so many silly mistakes. Right, they're just going to shoot each other. Which is good for me. We'll ponder. I don't want to throat punch him. Can't do anything. Shame. Alrighty. Uh, panic dash. Straight up to him. He's got 15 health, so a heavy strike. Brings him down to 9. Hook kick. This needs to be good. We can slip. 540 in. Big block. Oh, nice. Separate. I like the big block. Go to medical. Get our health up. 44. I love it. We're looking really good here, guys. Okay, short break as I went for dinner. And, uh, oh my god, this is it. 44 health, here we go. Oh, man. We made it. Oh my god, who's this guy? Oh, that's the boss. What can you do, boss? Headbutt. Brutal knocking of heads, deals 15 damage and pushes target back one, has an auto attack. Will attack once per turn. Will also turn to face the player, okay. So. Thirty-five health, thirty-two. 35, because he's got the 10 protection, that is. The problem we have is he's going to attack. I think we're going to have to slip, but which way should I slip? I think I'm going to slip this way. I front kick him. All right. We only have to take him out. We beat him, everybody else dies. So. If I steal myself and front kick him, then that's double damage. Okay. That makes sense. Let's try that.
he will always turn to face me. Wow. Do you know what we need to do? We need to escape. Slip. Slip. Dash. That's all we could do. There was nothing else I could do with those cards in that particular situation. Oh, this is not good either. So we've got a big block of 18. That would stop him from hurting us. We could panic dash across here. Yeah. Let's ponder, see if we can get some ranged attacks. Twenty five and eighteen. Oh, we have a wall jump punch, another ponder. <coughs> Excuse me. Wow, all of those ponders used nothing to show for it. It's a problem. That's a big problem. Okay, 18 health, and he's he's going to auto-attack me. Mm. Let's throat punch him. So now he can't do anything. We'll slip. And we'll jab. And now we'll left spin kick him. It's quite a bit of damage he took there. Down to 65. Long way to go. Long way to go. I cannot afford to take a hit off this guy. I'm going to slip. Now, does this... Down to four. If I go... I don't think I can do this, can I? I was trying to get up alongside him. I'm going to get hit if I stand there. Shame, because I could so use that. Lost it. New guy! <laughs> okay. So if I steal myself... What damage does this guy do? He does 8 damage. Like a quick block for 6. That means I'm only going to take 2 damage. Steal myself, and then go for the kick. That's 2 damage. I took one guy out, dropped him down to 11. I can jab him as well, and that allows me to dash out the way, so I'm not going to take another hit. Good. Oof. Okay, so he's got 18. Wow, this is not good.
So if I go for the big block, I can heavy strike this guy. And I'm not too worried about him hitting me because I've still got 10 block. And he's moved out of the way. That's nice as well. Right, throat punch. No, oh, no, I keep doing this. I use the throat punch before I've taken his block down. So, so annoying. Wall jump punch. Love that. Spin kick. Another one of my favourites. I can slip in here and I can do a jumping back kick. Ah, oh, no, I wasted my move. Damn. Slip. Jab. Hook kick. Wall jump punch. Oh, steady on. No, 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 no. Don't screw this up. Twenty-four health. He's only got fourteen. Right. If I surprise attack, that gives me four block. He's only going to do eight damage. He's also going to do eight damage. Nice. 18. So if I steal myself and heavy strike this guy, that's him done. Right, just me and thee then, buddy. Just me and thee. Let's see if I can get a long range attack for free. I have a jumping back kick, but I can't get close enough to him to use it. It's a bit of a shame. We've got a heavy strike. Big block. Oh, there we go. Heavy strike. Too bothered. No damage done. Although we got zero, uh, zero block left after that headbutt. He's down to 45 health. So that would be nice. Surprise attack, that gives us four health. So you'd only do 11 damage. I want to steal myself and do a jumping back kick. Let's ponder for a second. Oh, look, we've got a wall jump punch. If only I could have used that. That would that bring him down to one health. Right, this is going to do 36 damage anyway. But we took 11. He's only got 5 health left. So if I step into that gap, he only attacks once. Oh, I can't do a wall jump punch, you idiot. But there we go, we had a kick. Job done. How was your stay? Uncomfortable, but the people were absolutely charming. I imagine you found something to do to pass the time. 
and I imagine you have a few more like-minded folk to introduce me to. The Jade Staff, a secretive ninja clan acting behind the scenes for over a thousand years. The Jade Staff is responsible for organized terror attacks throughout the world, with communications exclusively conveyed via disposable human messengers. Authorities around the world have so far been unable to track down any of the clan's leaders. That's some hardcore stuff. Join me again in the next one, where we'll take it on. Thanks for watching, take care. Goodbye for now.